What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. We are ready to continue from the Deep Root Depths. Now, before we jump into it, on uh, the last episode, of course, we managed to get on up here to the Moonlight Altar. And I mentioned that, in general, this area is a little bit too high level for us. Uh, but for those that are playing as a mage, I figure it's worth pointing out that you, you can go ahead and pick up the Dark Moon spell here early on if you want. Uh, this is one of the things that I think is safer to do. But so, there's a bunch of different things here. As I mentioned, there's, there's multiple ruins. Uh, down here, though, we have something called Chilona's Rise. And we're going to get to it later. But if you go there and you interact with the sign and it talks about the Three Wise Beasts, you can find one beast, like right here, just literally off the side of the cliff. You can hit it with a uh, throwing knife. You can find another beast right like here-ish you'll see it from up top and you can hit it with a spell or something i recommend loretta scrape bow and then the third beast and you need to you need to hit all three of these without teleporting by the way so you have to hit that ride on your horse over to here and then ride on up this way and there's going to be an air current here and you'll jump through it and you'll boop the third beast like your mario and after doing that you'll warp back to the grace that's down here go to the top of the tower and you'll get a new spell now we're going to be covering that much much later in the series when this area is more level appropriate uh, but it is a really nice spell. It's similar to the Renala's Moon spell, but Ronnie's Moon causes a little bit less damage, but a huge amount of Frostbite buildup, so I personally prefer it. And because of that, I just wanted to point that out for Mage Gang real fast. You know, it's you can run through and grab that now if you want, uh, but otherwise we're going to be tackling that, that area much later. So, anyway, on to where we are, which is the Deep Root Depths. And this area is pretty straightforward. Uh, so the first thing we're going to actually be doing is running right over here. No summon for this one, but we do have a Erd Tree Guardian we gotta take on. Let's go show him our Blood Flame Blade. My iframes were not as iframey as I thought. Ooh. Oh man, that was... A little harsh, don't you think, friend? Ow, my god. Die. Ooh. Don't worry, not everything here is that hard. Guy just hits like a truck is all. Right, so take him down, we get the Staff of the Avatar. Um, not a terrible weapon, not a particularly good weapon. But, you know, if you want a big faith hammer, you can use this and it gives you super mega butt slam. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh... Beyond that, though, there is a skill that I really like from this little shiny beetle right on over here. Don't run away. Alright. Kill the ants real fast. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stop this. Need some more health. I actually don't need to kill the ants. I'm just going to do it because I'm right here. And they're, they'll take, like, two wax. There we go. So we got the Ghost Club, we're at four. Uh, Earn Tree Guardian, Staff of Ervatar, Beetle with Gargoyle Man. Continue west and up the route to the right for something six. Now, actually, I want to see if I can use Golden Land on my Halberd because this, in my opinion, is one of the best weapon arts in the game. Um, it does an incredible potential of, of stagger damage. Enough so that, you know, those Crucible Knights that, like, usually it's like either struggle for your life or parry them, you can stagger them using Golden Land. So it puts out some mean, mean, mean damage. Really big fan of that. Um, I can put it on. Man, I can't use it. But I know it goes on like a lot of the Colossal weapons. So uh, if you're running a Colossal, highly recommend that. Super, super solid skill that I would not, would not turn down what we have on you anyway. Bold and Sword Dance. I never got to use it, so I'm going to put on Flaming Strike and show this. This is another one that I think is pretty cool. Um, obviously, the scaling on this isn't too bad. As you can see, I'm CE on this, so if I were to put things on... Uh, which one do we want? We want this one. Yeah, that's the big thing. Flame Art gives you more Faith Scaling, Fire, I get a little bit of Strength Scaling. But I'll actually use that for a little bit here, just because the... I mean, while the damage isn't going to be as high as my Blood Fang, on my, my halberd. Uh, it will do quite nicely against all of the more annoying stuff down here, like the ants. Plus, I'd like to have a little bit of AoE on. Uh, so anyway, mount your horse up, though. 
and there are a couple roots here that you can see, and that's what we're going to be getting involved with first. So I want you to jump up on this root and then just kind of turn around, and you can see a shiny right there. going to be a lot of root running in this, so uh, the map marking is, is going to be kind of chaotic. Like, it might not even really help. Uh, it's better to just pay attention to the routes I'm going on. Stay on this route, and then we're going to take this one over here. And you can see this will take you up into a nice little unmarked cave. Uh, now this cave is going to have more ants than you have seen up to this point. So many more. Like you think you've seen ants and then you come into this place and you're like, they just keep coming. So just be ready if you're not a, not a fan of ants. Yeah, isn't that cool? Look how fast that comes out. I like that we get a flame on it that staggers and then the follow up swing. Really fun art. We picked this up in Redman Castle. I just forgot to actually put it on. But, um, you know, if you... So, obviously, if you're not using Horfrost anymore, but you want something that still has that, like, good AoE feel, it's not a bad choice. I mean, as you're seeing, I'm doing some work with this thing. I'm just like, boom! Extermination Edition. Okay, and this is where things get fun. Lots and lots of ants. So, let me see here. I might have some fun consumables I can use. I do. Uh, what will you do first? Let me just check you. Just wanna just kind of see what I'm working with here. Wow, that does pretty well. Okay. If you're a mage or you have a good ranged weapon, obviously you can use that here. I'm just, just kind of testing my options to see if some of this stuff would work well. I think I can drop down and slap a gravity fan and kill most of these guys. You can see they're all nicely gathered up. Not as good as I thought. The flame strike sure as shit is. Woo! Burn! Big ones aren't gonna come after you, they just kinda sit stationary. Whoa! Yeah, you can see it wants to, but you ain't going nowhere, bigums. We also get a Newman rune for every single one of these that we kill, so that's nice. Okay. Get this one little thing over here. Well, I still like my Bloodhound Fang, and I'm going to be switching back to that. Um, for areas like this, I'll probably go to the Halberd and either work with Frost or Fire or Bleed or something, you know. Just use status while it's gonna work out very well. Um, that is Elden Stars, which is one of the legendary spells we need for the all legendary incantations and sorceries achievement. So, hope you're not scared of ants, because you gotta come get it. Which actually, fun fact, you can just sprint through this on your horse. Since it's not an official cave, you can just run straight through on your horse and grab that and get out. Um, but you know, I mean, we get five Newman runes out of it, and those are those are pretty beefy. I think they're like 15, maybe 20,000 runes per use. Go down here, and you can see there's just a little piece of candy at the end of this. That jump was a little sketchy. All right, let me look at my notes here. Erdtree Guardian, Beetle, kill tons of ants, get the Somber Six, and Newman Rune, Elden Stars. After the cave, we get a Holy Grease, and then up the same branch, there is a Smithing Stone. We're going to head towards the Flying Ants next for a few little loose pieces of loot. Like that. Let's get a little bit lower here. I'm going to pop one of these. So you can fight these ants if you want, it, it doesn't really matter. There's, you know, a couple of them flying around. And most of the loot here is pretty inconsequential stuff, so I would say just pick it up, you know. Pick it up, be on your way. If you want to kill them, go for it. There's, you know, they're ants. I'm not worried about ants. But so you can see we're just kind of heading northwest right now. And we're going to go to this grace. 
Now, obviously, we got this grace when we came through here before. Um, but this is, uh, this is our break point. Let me see. Elden Stars. Do, 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 do. Flying ants for the grace. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do. Going this way. You can kind of see how there's a waterfall. And we are going to run along the waterfall itself. And in particular... Do, do, do. Uh, run along the waterfall is a broken building with a smithing six and a rune. Uh, we, there are a lot of basilisks in this area, so I would suggest swapping that on. There we go. And it's better to just have it in your offhand. You can, you know, because this is a lot. This is a lot of basilisks for sure. All right, well, I guess there are limits to even the beast torch. There's a... Uh, I guess if you piss them off enough, they don't care. See, the thing with these guys is as long as you keep moving, they're not really a threat. The number one way that people die from basilisks is they get caught. Like, you get caught in a corner and there's just too much cloud. Or you're doing that, you're fighting into the cloud itself. But, you know, if there's too much cloud, you just scoot away. If that does build up, though, oh man, it's totally metal. You have, like, a bunch of thorns that come ripping through your character. Where's my thing at? There we go. We're straying off our path a little too much. Well, anyway, so we wanted to grab that rune arc. We killed enough of these things. We'll ignore most of them. And just continue along the waterfall. There is a cave in here that has a bear, but we're going to approach it from above a little bit later to get a piece of loot, so don't worry about it for now. I mean, if you really want to fight the bear, but you know, we're, we're going to get to it in just a little bit, so I would just chill out. All right. So I believe that's all the basilisks. Now we're just heading kind of southwestish real fast right over here of course is the map we picked this up when we swung by here before but you're absolutely going to want that if you don't have it yet grab those hefty beast bones and i'll kill this half-ass gargoyle all right let's see a ton of basilisk pop up on the fire thing grab the map uh next we're going to go over to the building in the northwest for another Gargoyle and vacuum slice. This guy right here. Now this thing's probably gonna hit you. What I would suggest doing is just kind of run in one direction and then turn in the other and jump. If you're lucky, you'll get behind him without taking a hit. If you do take a hit, it's gonna hurt, but it's not gonna kill you. I'm gonna take that guy out. And then you'll get vacuum slice. Not a terrible art. Gives you a nice little ranged attack with any weapon. I mean, I think there's better ones, but... He's all bug ahead, bug ahead, dog ahead, weirdos, man. Uh, anyway, let's see. Do, 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 do. We're gonna continue going northeast, killing basilisks and just collecting some like ghost herb items. So just kind of running right along the cliff edge here. I think there's one in the back that we can grab. We grab that one already. You know what? We might have before we curved upwards. So yeah. Easiest way is we're just going to keep this wall on our right-hand side, and we're just going to run through and grab a couple loose pieces of loot that are laying around. You can ignore the basilisks for the most part. Just looking for any ghost work around here. I swear there was more ghost. There's one. There's one. Up here we got some formic rock if you want to snatch it up. And whenever that's done, go on and hop on top. go the arteria leaf and then just drop very carefully down gives us the smithing stone um, after the ant spirit spring for roof and loot drop back down for a spring we're gonna loop back towards the gazebo now and there should be a sombering beetle we can get along the way and that's just kind of this way you can see a little discount we tell here. You don't get anything for it, but if you just want to beat his ass, because he's a disappointment of a summon. Oh, you little bitch. Oh, 
she's a disappointment of a summon. That partisan is not a guaranteed drop, by the way. That just happened to drop. Yeah, so we're just kind of heading southeast, listening for it. There it is. There we go. Is this a somber six? More basilisks. And there's our gazebo. So from here, we're just going to go straight west. You can see a bunch of dudes. Just ignore them for now. They are not a concern for us. And right over here, we have a grace. All right. So we're just going to go a little bit further here. We have a bunch of coffins and we can grab a ton of loose little loots over here. Nothing is going to attack you. So just kind of run on in, get your goodies. Me, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Now you're going to come out of this place with a lot of golden runes. We're, we're going to be... What are we right now? 94? Yeah, we'll be probably... 96, 97 by the time we're done here. Uh, so over here is a coffin. If you didn't do the Ronnie's quest line, this would take you on over to Anzil River. You remember how there was just kind of like a loose coffin washed up on shore there? That's where this takes you. So obviously we don't need to do that. We're done and we cleared that entire area already, but I wanted to point it out. Uh, so let's see. We're going to head on down into the lower area. Let's go in this way a little bit. You can see it just drops down. Go on and drop down. And there's a ghost word over there we'll snag. Some more knights. You can fight them if you want. Really, we just come in here for the Sombering Seven. And we want to take this and jump up on top of this building. And we get ourselves a stonework key! Oh god, I didn't want this to happen. Uh. Oh god, okay, we got safely down. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Well, I'm gonna show you what you're supposed to do. Now, for some reason, jumping down to this spirit swing, it did not work. All the testing I did, when I would jump down to that spirit spring, I would take damage. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's just a bug and if it's going to get patched, but, you know, you see it and you're like, oh, I'll just hop down. And hopping down did not work, so instead, I would suggest hopping over to this ledge. Now, obviously, as you saw, it took a little pinch of damage. That's okay. Uh, this is where we want to go next, though. So, this is Siluria. Uh, it's basically a, like, mini-boss uh, Crucible Knight. Same rules as before. You fought one of these guys before. You can parry them. You can spank them. You can, you know, cheese them, whatever you got to do. Oh, man. I am really off on my parry timings. I'm just going to heal up a little bit. If you don't mind... No, okay. Obviously, watch your spacing. There's a lot of clips around here. There it is. That's what I wanted. You know, I keep forgetting to level up my critical dagger for moments like this. Oh my god, look at you, you're like a clown. Am I gonna ledge you? A couple more parries, you're gonna fall off. Oh, too early, got overconfident. Oh, but he makes a comeback play. Oh man, I'm so glad I learned how to parry these things. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we got a little excited there, aren't we? I always struggle to dodge the spear. Man, ow. Bro, listen, I know I was talking all that shit. Don't let that hit you. Oh, my God. That's the claw. We don't get the claw as a spell, which is bullshit. Man. Let's see, this is, this is, this is why you don't talk until the boss fight is done, because you start talking shit, and then that happens. It's like clockwork every time, man. There's probably a TikTok compilation out there of me talking shit to a mini boss, only to promptly have it beat my ass. But you know what? This does make me want to go do something real fast here. Since 
These Crucible Knights aren't going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, we're going to go here. I think one of these should give us more than enough. 12,500. Not bad. Not bad. So we get, what, about 60,000 from five of those? Yep, 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 yep. Where is it at? There it is. Beautiful. Um, I mean, are you even going to be comparable? I'm curious. We'll try it on out because it doesn't have damage, but it has that 140 crit, which that's a lot of crit. And usually that's like the only real thing that it comes down to when you are doing a critical attack is whether or not how high your crit is. I mean, obviously weapon damage is taken into it to some extent, but the crit, that is what really determines it. Um, if you're struggling with this guy, you can run past him and grab his goodies. Uh, he drops his spear when you beat him, so it's a faith spear. If you want a faith spear, this is your man. What do we got on? I'm looking good. I should, this should be fine. I should not concern myself with this guy. Let's get up there. Let's, let's try our miser cord. I know it's only at plus seven, but I'm going to believe in that 140 crit modifier. What's up, you big bitch? You ready for round two? I sure am. Oh man. Maybe I, I spoke too soon. Let's try this again. Let's 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 come on. There we go, that's more like it. No, what is that? Four thirty three? That's not worth it. I gotta level it up fully. Well, leveled up, that dagger will do a lot of damage. See, all I had to do was not talk shit. It's it's like clockwork. If I don't say anything, I perform flawlessly. This is why I just need to keep my mouth shut when I'm fighting bosses. Anyway, grab that ghost glove where you'll get that. It's cool. I mean, it's a pretty cool art. So if you really want like a, a beefy faith weapon, it's a decent choice to go with. And we go in here and we get some of my favorite armor in the game, which I'm about to put on right now. I love this crucible set it looks so good the fashion's great uh, it also comes with the benefit of boosting the aspects of the crucible which aren't that good um but that fashion though oh god i love it, it looks so good now the real question is am i that desperate for stats that i wear the wolf head with it i think i will just because i know there's somebody in the comments that's going to really be upset about that but yeah i like this armor man it looks good i'm a big fan of this armor uh, so anyway, though, with him dead, let me scroll my notes a little bit here. Yeah, we get the armor in the chest, northeast towards night for a ghost and golden rune. Ah, yes, here we go. Uh, so we're going to run right past these guys for now. They are all about to disappear, so snag that ghost glove work, snag the golden rune, and then head up this. And what we're doing is you can see a mausoleum. We are going straight for that. So ghosts are attached to the mausoleum. Once the mausoleum falls, all the ghosts disappear, and then we can just kind of freely run on through and grab everything we want. There we go. Man, it does look pretty bad, the imp. Uh, 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 how much are you giving me? They're worth, what, two? Two points in endurance? How does this look? Oh, God, that looks terrible. What else could I run? That doesn't look bad, but it doesn't really fit. Let me just, let me just go for the full set. I don't know, I don't really like, ah, oh, ah, uh, I don't know. Fashion's the name of the game. But it does match my shield, which is kind of nice. Yeah, so as always, I, I'm not gonna, there's nothing I need to duplicate in here right now. 
Um, hmm, just a missed one. Let me circle back around here. All right, let's talk a little bit about mausoleums because I've seen this asked a lot. So when you use a mausoleum, ultimately that's that's completely up to you as a player. I'm not going to tell you like, all right, this mausoleum, you need to duplicate Renala's and this one, you need to duplicate Godrix. Like, is it our, oh, it is lowering. Okay, cool. Oh, it kicked me off. Great. But yeah, I mean, you just, you lower the mausoleum and, and whatever you want to dupe, that's what you do. If you have nothing that you're interested in, then, you know, you don't need it. Um, I'm just like really, you know, really going, we'll use one. I know it's been a while, uh, but you go inside, and you know, this, this is a, a late game mausoleum. So we can see all the stuff we can do. So if for some reason, let's say I already made his weapons and I just, I decided I want that great bow. Well, there you go. Now I can get the great bow. Um, but if you don't care about any of this stuff, don't worry about it. You know, just wait until later and instead use it to just duplicate super high-end remembrances and then just pop them for like 100,000 runes. That's that's the other option. That's the pretty good option, to be honest. Uh, so anyway, we are going to run on over here to this cave first. We're just heading southeast. And we got to fight a bear. Blood of Fame Blade. See if I can sneak in there and get a big juicy attack on him. Yes, keep sleeping. Boom! Good night, Yogi. second. There you go. Now everyone can see again. So yeah, take down the bear. And then after that, we're just going to stay along the cliff ledge. We're just going to make a big loop, grabbing a couple of different things. Just kind of staying along the ledge. Until we make it back to the roots. Where are we at? 27 minutes? I think this might be a longer episode. I kind of want... Well, ah, there's a lot to... A lot of talking we have to do for Thea's quest chain. Maybe we'll wrap up this portion. Let me see, what do we got next? Yeah, no, well, I don't know. I don't know, this might be a two-parter. I believe there's something up here. Yes, there is. We'll grab you. Up down, grab you. There's the upper area, which isn't incredibly long, but we do have a boss fight. And on top of the boss fight, we also have a bunch of dialogue we need to do to wrap up Fia and Dee's quest line. As you can see, we're just we're just following the route. We're not, you know, straying off into the middle or anything. Just kind of staying along the ledge here, collecting loots. And our last stop is that branch right there. I mean, who knows? By the time this episode's live, maybe we'll be up to three a day. I am starting to build up a pretty healthy amount of episodes. Which, that's the thing. I mean, I know people want these episodes faster, but it's a question of, you know, can I keep up? Because if I go up to three a day, and then all of a sudden I go back down to two a day, I mean, you can't do that. You know, once once you've gone to three a day, you got to stay at three a day until completion. So part of it is I'm trying to keep up with the prep while I do it. Come here. Don't fall off. All right, so we got that. I think there was a loot on this branch down somewhere. That one we get in a little bit. No. Okay, there is no loot on this branch somewhere. But we can jump and get that one, I think. There we go. And we're just doing loot loops right now. It's just there's loot all over these branches, so just keep keep doing the thing. Jumping, hopping, running, hopping. Uh, we want to go this way and jump onto this thing. There we go. Smithing six. <sighs> Ooh, oh, God. I was going to jump that, and then I was looking at that, and I was like, you know what? That doesn't feel good. Oh no! Oh god, this is a terrifying moment. Oh no, we're okay, we've made it, okay. Can I get over to that though? 
See, that was completely intentional. All along, that was my plan. I meant to do that. I believe we're good. I know there's one more below us, but I'm just checking these branches to make sure there's no little pieces of candy that I left behind. Alright, we look good. So let's drop on down to you. Up on down to you. It's number seven. And I think that's it. Let me just confirm here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, did I grab the bolts out of the waterfall? I don't know if I did. I can find out, though. Mm, yeah, I think those are the great bolts we picked up. So I got... Uh -huh. Waterfall, somber six, somber five, ashes, return on the wall, golden name on the branch, left up top, near basilisks for beetle, right branch for loot, higher loot, off roof, loots as you descend. Okay, I think we're good. Um, so, work your way back up to the grace, broken structure to the left has a smithing five. So we're just gonna go this way, this is where we quite came down, actually, so. I mean, I don't know if there is a loot there, it's, you know, it would be like a rune four or something, it wouldn't be anything that's like... Oh, man, the legendary talisman. How did I overlook it? Like, we're getting all that stuff. You know, if I miss a rune arc or something, I'm not I'm not terribly concerned about it. This game is huge. I'm going to end the supply of these things by the end of it. Oh, so if you want, you can rest at the grace. You don't need to. You know, it's, it's up to you. I'll probably rest at the grace just to spend my souls, but I think I'm feeling good. Feeling pretty good. Anyway, come up this way so that you're just right behind this guy. There's no reason to hit him head on. Grab this. Golden rune one. Wow, I'm so thankful. Gonna go up. I'm just gonna take some of these guys out of the equation. Um, which actually, real fast, should we? No, it's that one over there. Okay. There's the Prince of Death staff. If you want to use like the death sorceries and whatnot. Um, and I mean, you're going deep. If you're going, like, past 60 on Int and Faith, that would be your staff of choice. If you're going below that, I think the, uh, Gelmir staff, which we get a little bit later, actually outperforms it. Okay. Pop over to there. Uh, yeah, that was the one. Run past this guy. Oh, no. No! Oh, man. It's all about speed. I wasn't fast enough. Gotta be fast enough. But you know what? We're, we are almost there. I think we're just gonna do everything down here in this episode. Lich Dragon, Deep Route, all that stuff. Oh, man. I made me use two Rune Arcs this episode, though. A shame. So I was planning on wrapping up when we got back to the grace here, but we're kind of just cruising. So, you know, when I'm cruising, I don't really want to stop. I just want to keep going. We're making pretty good time. I mean, we'll, it'll be like a... Well, depending on the boss, maybe a 40-minute episode. We'll see. It would be nice to have all of Deep Route Depths just contained within one part, though, you know? So, anyway. If you don't get blasted by that guy, you can come over here, grab this... And then you're going to do a jump. Ugh, there we go. Now, typically, you would just go up that branch and jump right down, and it's much safer. But I'm greedy, and I wanted to get that rune item first. Uh, boss is in there. We're not doing that just yet. I owe y'all a bear still. All right. Back up top we go. Is uh, aggressive. Um, okay. Oh, my horse. There was a loot on one of these on the back side. Yes, there it is. Revenge for what you did to me. Alright. 
jump over to the big one. Head on up. And go this way. Uh, so there's a couple ants over here, but what we're interested in is the big hole. There's a ghost glove wart we can grab, but that's it. There's nothing else over here, so kill him if you want. We're just going to snatch and grab, though. Grab that and be on our way. Sorry, ants. I got things to do. And here is our hole. Obviously, make sure you check before you fall. Um, this bear is on par with the other bear. If you kill the other bear just fine, you'll kill this bear this fine. But coming in here from above does give you the chance to cheese the bear. And what I mean by that is if you just want to sit up here and fill it full of rock cross crossbow bolts or, you know, whatever else you want, you can do that. It's not like the bear can do anything. So just right here, hit the bear spells. Uh, do a melee dude. Then down we go! Woo! He's an aggressive bear. We're also fighting him in pretty close quarters. Oh no, not the hug! So I had someone ask him, when stuff like that happens, you want to mash basically your bumpers and your triggers. So like L1, R1, L2, R2. Just mash those buttons. Just mash them. And you'll notice how, like with the bear, I ended up only getting hit by like two of those attacks, even though he had a third. And that's the benefit of the mash. Shouldn't have tried to retreat out. Oh my god, it's the sprint around. Am I gonna die? If I'm not careful, I will. Oh boy, no. Oh no, I do not want to die. He really wants me dead. All right, you need to go away. Stop that. You're not making this any better. God, that's an aggressive bear. Anyway, Prince of Death Cyst, Beast Blood, Hefty Beast Bone, Lump of Flesh, Gold Penge Extra. Uh, that gives us a higher resistance to death, the status effect death. Uh, so with him down, jump back up to across the roots. God, that was, jeez, like a freaking bear, man. Ugh, okay. Um, we're going to spend our souls, and then we're going to do Fia's whole thing. Well, let me see. We got to do... Fia, four to six, and then Gelmir. Um, no, yeah, I think we will wrap up. Uh, so stat-wise, 718. Oh, wow, yeah, we're focusing decks for a bit here. So yeah, we will wrap up only because there's a lot of dialogue going on in the Fia quest. A lot of, like, quitting, reloading, quitting, reloading, and that's going to eat up probably at least ten minutes on its own. So let's close things out here. In the next episode, we'll kill the boss of this area. Uh, and then from there, we are actually going to be heading on up north. So before we go up here, the only other area that's like still left would be Upper Kaled. I was hoping to tackle Upper Kaled right after this. But to be honest, I went there, tested out a couple things. And I think it's probably still best for us to just save Upper Kaled. I mean, the stuff that's here hits super freaking hard. Um, we could probably do the Erd Tree, and we could probably do some of the Catacombs, but, like, the more major stuff that we want to do up here, there's a ball-bearing guy over here, uh, there's a gargoyle over here, we have the Divine Tower right here. All of those bosses are really, really tanky, so, um, in terms of levels, it's gonna be a lot easier for us to do what's known as Gelmir, which is all the areas around the, the volcano, and then all of the Altus Plateau, um, the capital and the volcano itself are a little bit trickier, but at the very least, I think we're going to do all of Gelmir before we knock out Upper Kaled. But we're, we're making good time. So either way, we're going to close things out here. Next episode, we're going to be getting you the Lich Dragon 4-6, as well as wrapping up Fia's questline. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you all then.